Now we're going to talk about something we are very much aware of and rarely talk about. Now the use of monosodium glutamate or more commonly known as MSG is a polarizing topic with two bags of people arguing for and against it. Now restaurants serving Chinese food are often accused of using MSG which has led to some people being put off by Chinese food. Now that's not all. The argument is that MSG is used in food served at low-end eateries as well as some of the most popular fast food franchises serving some of the most consumed food items in the cities such as French fries, burgers and fried chicken and so forth. Now some accuse that consumption of MSG is harmful to human health while others debate that it only makes you want to eat a bit more. So basically the criticism leveled against the use of MSG. Now, is it really fair? That's the question. So we wanted to get to know this and we wanted to get to the bottom of this. This is what we found. What is the taste you remember when you think of French fries, fried chicken, Chinese food or simply a street food item popular among locals called vade? This taste is called umami, which is the fifth taste found in food apart from sweet, sour, salt and bitterness corresponding to the flavour of glutamates, especially monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG. Umami seasoning available worldwide under the brand name Ajinomoto was discovered by Professor Kikune Ikeda through a seaweed at the Department of Chemistry of Tokyo Imperial University in 1907. The umami taste substances, however, is not only included in monosodium glutamate, but also in vegetables such as tomato, potato, Chinese cabbage, mushroom, carrot, soybean. It's even present in green tea. Seafood such as fish, seaweed, oyster, prawn, crab as well as types of meat like beef, pork and chicken also have it. Even cheese isn't spared and MSG contributes heavily to the characteristic taste of these foods. The world, however, is divided on MSG because of the controversy surrounding it. The popular argument is that MSG extracted and crystallized from seaweed and other types of foods is considered to be harmful for the health, unlike natural MSG. But how can it be? We contacted Professor M.J. Vansapala from the University of Sri Jawadhanapura to get an explanation into this. MSG or monosodium glutamate help to improve the diabetic type 2 diabetic conditions, obesity, certain cancer conditions in our body. That will be a big problem. So most of our school crowd, school children, more like to consume starchy food. That's why among the school crowd, there is a very big problem that is obesity. That is one of the side effects, big side effects of the MSG, artificial MSG. Apart from these, it is a worldwide claim that when added to food, commercially available MSG causes headache, flushing, sweating, facial pressure, tightness, numbness, tingling or burning in the face, neck and other areas, rapid flushing heartbeats or heart palpitations, chest pain and nausea. In the meantime, the other half of the world argues that these symptoms and the claim that MSG is unhealthy is a myth. Although we tried to contact researchers in Sri Lanka who wrote papers about MSG or their side effects as well as who argued why it is not that harmful for human health, many of them hesitated to talk to us about their studies. But in Sri Lanka, the use of MSG is at a high level and when contacted, manager of Lanka Foods, Esbala, said their company imports a minimum of 150 metric tons of MSG a month and three other players in the market stated that it is estimated that 7,000 metric tons flood the market each year. One other popular argument on the internet about MSG is that the fear of Ajinomoto or MSG is created by the Western world out of xenophobia. All the MSG was first banned in the Western world during the World War II in 1958. Safety evaluation and recommendations of US Food and Drug Administration declared glutamate as a generally recognized as safe ingredient, along with other commonly used food ingredients such as salt, vinegar and baking powder. Leading international food authorities such as International World Health Organization, UN Food and Agriculture Organization's Evaluation Committee, the European Commission's Scientific Committee for Food and the United States Food and Drugs Administration have issued statements claiming that the use of MSG is safe for human consumption. You have to use that flavor enhancer with proper dosage. In Sri Lankan food industry, generally we use those flavor enhancers and other food additives without those legal limits. Although we have legal limits, most of the food processors, food, uh, restaurant owners, they don't follow those proper regulations. But nowadays, there is a uh, 
rapid change in Sri Lankan food market, our consumers very rapidly identify MSG free food because that is their request. Therefore, nowadays researchers, scientists try to find natural sources contained in glutamic acid. Right? We have certain natural sources available in the market, certain onions, mushrooms, cabbage like natural sources which contain glutamic acid. So we can add those sources and along with the salt we can prepare our own dishes with uh, nourishes and a very taste. Therefore, instead of MSG, artificial MSG, we can use our natural sources. However, when bringing you this story, the question we had ourselves is not whether MSG is good or bad for health. If you do a search on the internet to see if MSG is good or bad, it does not give you a definite answer. But instead, it is flooded with articles, research material or videos which try to prove that MSG is not as bad as it claims to be. If MSG is proven to be not guilty of being harmful for humans, why are there so many researchers who still claim this to be harmful for human health? and do hundreds of videos trying to prove that MSG is not as bad as most people think. Why is it so difficult to come to a common conclusion? What do all these indicate to the consumers worldwide? Could it be that all international bodies and others who are in support of MSG in bed with manufacturers? Or is MSG really innocent? It looks like it will have to be decided by you.